What's up, y'all? Comedian Rita Brent here. I am back. I have brought you Words That Make Mississippi, Mississippi Part 1 and Part 2, places you should absolutely visit in Mississippi. Now I want to talk about phrases that make Mississippi, Mississippi. Honestly, this could be a 10-parter, but this is going to get us started, okay? Let's go. She is crazy as a Betsy bug. Some people say Betsy bug. Some people say Betsy bug. Either is acceptable according to Google. Crazy as a Betsy bug. Crazy as a Betsy bug. I think Betsy bug has an easy ring to it. Crazy as a Betsy bug translates to she ain't got good sense. I, I mean, that's how I contextualize it. Who, Claudine? Oh, she crazy as a Betsy bug. That's a good way to say she ain't got good damn sense. It's harmless if you ask me. Good gracious alive. Now, this is a phrase my grandmother used to say when she was appalled by something. My water bill was $300 this month. Good gracious alive. Which translates to, oh my God, this is preposterous. Or, my goodness, this situation has me in utter shock. Good gracious alive. Sat down somewhere. Sat down is spelled S-A-D-D-O-W-E. Which translates to, sit down somewhere. Somewhere can be anywhere. Sit on the couch, sit in your room, sit in the chair, but sit down somewhere other than where you are sitting or move around at the time your grandmother or your mother says, sit down somewhere. The only place you should not sit down is on your grandmother's couch with all that plastic on it in the living room that she bought that nice couch set, but nobody is allowed to sit on it. You are not allowed to sit down somewhere on that plastic covered couch. Bring me that and hand me that. Bring me that fly swatter. Hand me that sausage. Bring me that, spelled B-R-A-I-N-M-E-D-A-T. Bring me that. Hand me that, spelled H-A-N-M-E-D-A-T. Hand me that. Translation, bring me that and hand me that, okay? But it's just so much easier and quicker to say, bring me that, hand me that. Cut out all that racket. Cut out all that racket. Translates to be quiet. That's it. Be quiet. Be still. Stop making noise. Come round. Come round. C U M R O W N. Come round. Don't you come round here with that bullshit. Don't you come round here with that nonsense. Come round translates to come around, which means don't come around here with fill in the blank. Come here. I have no idea how to spell this. Come here, spelled C-O-M-E-N-H-Y-A. Come here. Y'all gotta help me out with that one. I don't know how to spell come here. Which translates to come here. Come here right now. It's a dead cat on the line. Now listen. <laughs> so that phrase is used when there is doubt present in a situation. So if your man come home and say, in the words of Kevin Hart, that he saw a deer bra on the side of the road and he stopped to see about the deer bra, which is a deer and a zebra put together, you look at your husband dead in his eyes and tell him it's a dead cat on that line, which means something you saying ain't right, my boy. It's not completely believable. There is doubt about your situation. It's a dead cat on the line. This is a great alternative to telling somebody there's a damn lie. Because we converse with people all the time, and you can tell they're lying, but instead of calling them a bold or a bald-faced liar, you just tell them, I hear what you're saying, but it's a dead cat on the line. And this last one, almost anybody in the South is familiar with. It's just not a Mississippi thing, I don't believe. But we go and make groceries. We go make groceries. We don't buy groceries. We don't purchase groceries. We don't pick up groceries. We make groceries from scratch. Okay, we make a list. We decide what's gonna be in the list. We walk into the grocery store and we make groceries. We make things appear in our buggy. Not cart, our buggy. So if you ever come to Mississippi, don't you come around talking about, oh, I'm finna, I'm finna go purchase some groceries. Uh-uh, we make groceries here. All right, that's just a few phrases that make Mississippi, Mississippi. I know many of you guys are saying it's just not a Mississippi thing. You experience these in other Southern states as well. I'm just telling you, this is how I came up. As usual, as I will always say, Mississippi ain't perfect, but it's perfect for me. I'm going to keep telling y'all what it is and what it ain't. Let this bless you.